What's going on everybody? Welcome back to The Wave Gretzky Show. If you're new here, my name is Alfred Amaro. However, if you are not new here, you might notice a little bit different of a set location, and that's because I have recently moved. We didn't move far, we literally just moved a couple blocks away from our original apartment, but really we just moved for additional space. Without taking too much of your time, I'm gonna jump into the two most popular ways you can produce merch for your YouTube channel. I use both of these ways, you probably can use one or the other or both. Nonetheless, let's jump right into the pros and cons of both. The first way you can produce merch for your YouTube channel is going through a screen printer. Now there's a lot of pros and cons going through a screen printer. A lot of the pros are you get to work hands on with the printer himself. You get to choose the texture, material, inks, colors, sizing, dimensions. It's all at the palm of your hands and it's easy to adjust. They walk you through every step of the way and you know exactly what you're going to get on the other side. Now, a lot of the cons to this is that you're putting all the money up front. Even if you're not putting all the money up front, you're at least putting a deposit down for the shirts because the printer wants to know that you're not gonna back out from this. That way, they at least paid for the materials that they bought. Other cons to this is once you place your order and you have your merch in hand, you could have boxes and boxes of clothes at your house. Trust me, I've been there before. Most screen printers have a minimum and that minimum tends to be 12 t-shirts. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but trust me, it stacks up quickly, especially when you're running 24, 36, 48, and so on and so forth. Even when you're producing those shirts, it's a little bit difficult to gauge what your follower size are gonna be. I'll tell you right now, most people wear a medium or a large. That is the most sold product that I personally have. I hardly ever buy two XLs and I hardly ever buy extra smalls. Not to say that people aren't smalls and extra larges, however, Medium and large will be the two most popular sizes that you will sell. Another pro for this is you can do pre-orders. You can pre-order with your friends. You can get that money, take their sizes, and take that to the printer. And you could get exactly what you're looking for, whether it be meeting the 12 minimum, 24 or 36, of basically what you need. So basically just recapping the two pros and the two cons that I have for the method of screen printing, that you could work with your printer, figuring out the dimensions, sizes, all that good stuff. And also you could do bundles and you could do pre-sales and you could get the money up front from your friends, get their sizes, and then send that directly off to a screen printer to get printed. A couple of cons though, you're gonna have to put the money up front. And also you might have merch left over and just laying around your house for that matter. Jumping into the second way you can produce merch for your YouTube channel is going to be print on demand. Now, if you have a Shopify or a Squarespace or WordPress or anything like this, there are apps you can integrate on the back end that can print your merch for you on demand. Now, the real big cons about this are your profit margins are a lot lower. It's going to take a lot more money to produce that one-off t-shirt because you're not making a bunch at the same time, if that makes sense. So just to give you guys an example with this t-shirt right here, I have a online store, wavegretzky.com. With this t-shirt, I happen to go through a print-on-demand company. If you buy it, it gets made immediately. I do not have any on stock. I have not paid for any up front. However, because of that availability to do that right away, the printer takes more to produce this item. With that being the con, the pro to this is that I do not have to put any of the money up front. I do not have to have any of the merch laying around my house. I do not have to come up with the deposit to put towards all this merch. I literally design it on the back end and then I'm able to put it on my shop and then they could send it directly to you from their warehouse. So basically a con to this is you're not dealing hands on with the printer like you would be with screen printers. You're gonna have to guesstimate the sizes that you need or the inks and the colors that you wanna use and the positioning of the t-shirts that you're gonna to wanna to see. Luckily you can order samples which only takes a week to get here and once you're satisfied with the design and the fill and everything with the t-shirt you can put it live on your store for people to buy. So just recapping again some of the pros and the cons, you don't have any merch floating around in your house. You don't have to see the merch. It goes directly to the customer straight from the production house. And then the second pro is that you do not have to put a large deposit down for this. Now just going over the cons, you can't feel the textures, you can't feel the ink. You really have to guesstimate where you want it on the t-shirt, the sizing, the dimensions, all that good stuff. And then secondly, the most important con to this method is that your profit margins are a lot lower than expected. And just to point you guys in the right direction, if you wanna use this method, you could use things like Printify, Printful, and those integrate with your Shopify account as well as your Squarespace account. To point you guys in the right direction for a screen printer, you could just literally look up local screen printers in your area and you should just go straight there, show them what you wanna do and they'll tell you how much it's gonna cost. And then, yeah, <laughs> with all that being said, just a shameless plug, wavegretzky.com. If you like the Love Thy Homie shirt, you can now get it in a long sleeve sticker or a short sleeve t-shirt. And yeah, thanks for stopping by this week. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you enjoyed the video, definitely give it a like, and I will see you guys next week. Peace.